Welcome to Rega Eagle Nigeria Limited, where we give you information about some agricultural crops. Today we shall talk about combined avesta. Avesting of field crops constitutes one of the most labor-consuming operations of farming due to increased area under different crops and also due to increase in productivity levels of cereal and pulse crops in the country. Combined harvesters are one of the most economically important labor-saving inventions, significantly reducing the fraction of the population engaged in agriculture. Traction speed is a continually variable transmission. This allows the ground speed of the machine to be varied while maintaining a constant engine and traction speed since the machine will typically have been adjusted to operate best at a certain speed. There are usually two seeds, one above the other. Each is a flat metal plate with holes, set according to the size of the grain mounted at an angle which shakes. The holes in the top seeds are set larger than the holes in the bottom seed. While straw is carried to the rail, crop, wheat seeds as well as chaff falls onto the second seed where shafts and crops fall through and are blown out by the fan. The crop is carried to the elevator which carries it into the upper. Setting the concave clearance, fan speed and seed side is critical to ensure that the crop is stretched properly. The grain is clean of debris and that all of the grain entering the machine reaches the grain tank. The combined harvester is a machine that combines the tasks of harvesting threshing and cleaning grain crops. The waste straw left behind on the field is the remaining dry stems and leaves of the crop with limited nutrients which is either chopped and spread on the field or built for feed and beddings for livestock. Combines are equipped with removable heads called headers that are designed for particular crops. Standard header, sometimes called a grain platform or platform header, is equipped with a reciprocating knife cutter bar and features a revolving reel with metal or plastic teeth to cause the cut crop to fall into the air. A cross auger then pulls the crop into the truth. The grain platform is equipped with snap rolls that strip the stalk and leave away from the ear so that only the ear and ox enter the troops. This cut crop is carried up the feeder troops by a chain and flight elevator, then fed into the threshing mechanism of the combine, consisting of a rotating threshing drum to which groove steel bars are booted. These bars stretch or separate the grains and chaff from the straw through the action of the drum against the concave. The distance between the drum and concave is finely adjusted for, after, and together to achieve optimal separation and output. The header cuts the crop and feeds it into the threshing cylinder. This consists of a series of horizontal rasp bar pieced across the parts of the crop and in the shape of a quarter cylinder, guiding the crop upwards through a 90 degree top. Moving rasp bars or rubber bars pull the crop through concave grids that separate the grain and chaff from the straw. The grain heads falls through the fixed concaves onto the seeds. Before operating a combined harvester, 
Inspect the machine to determine all the parts are functioning properly. Check wear and adjustment of knife clips and wearing plates. At the end of the season, clean and inspect for needed repairs. Apply a coating of oil to any parts that may be damaged by rust and store in a shelf.